Hey guys, welcome back to Jade Empire. And let's get this over with. Time for another, well, conversation with uh, everybody in our group. And let's hope this one doesn't take uh, as long as, well, the other ones. Hopefully they just have one or two things to say. Okay, let's start from here. Well, it looks like your contact with the Lotus Assassins will be bad for your reputation, but good for our goal. I can't agree with this. You don't know what you're getting into. You don't know the danger they represent. Really? What did you see while hiding in your swamp? I've observed Death's Hand for years, both in the palace and elsewhere. You could have four faces and a different name and wardrobe for each, and you still wouldn't understand. Death's hand is not what he seems. Then what, pray tell, is he? I don't know. But his power does not come from study or skill. He is something darker, and we should not be trying to enter his lair. It sounds like Sagacious Zoo wants to go back into hiding. Or perhaps the nursery? Pay no attention, not everyone is as weak as he is. Alright, I guess... I think this is uh, one of those cutscenes that happen when you approach. Might have to... Do a couple of runs, see if uh, anything else pops up. But for now, let's see. Uh, let's go with this one. He'll do what I say. You don't know what they are capable of. The matter is settled. Go sulk in the corner like you're accustomed to doing. This is not helping anything. Are we any closer to getting to the Lotus Assassin so this accursed woman will help us find Master Lee? Oh, she spits fire at last. Now I see how the child left her little village. She has some spirit in her after all. And surprisingly, she's right. You've made contact with the Lotus Assassins, but haven't shown them why they need to fully accept you. The Executioner wants to see you excel in the arena. Progress far enough, and he will gladly recommend that you be recruited. And the Inquisitor has a task for you as well. Appeasing one or the other will be enough for our purposes. The path is yours to choose. Okay. Uh, I guess we can talk to her more. Okay, let's see if we can uh, go with this. I'm not sure we have the time. There are too many important matters at stake. We need to make progress before I will feel comfortable spending more time on idle chatter. Okay. I will. Yeah, whatever. I uh, want to talk about the Emperor. No. Uh, evidence that you want. We've gone over this. Death's Hand is using the prisoners who should be working on the wall to construct some sort of personal army of golems. My father probably knows something, but not the true danger of it. I need to show that Death's Hand intends to seize control. The Lotus Assassins act for Death's Hand. There has to be proof of his evil intent in the Lotus Assassin Fortress. That is where you need to go. Okay. I will. Uh, okay, so I guess Zu is on a timeout. Uh, should I really? Ah, uh, forget it. Let's talk to everybody first. Yes. What do you need? I'd like to get that business with Minister Shang out of the way. She worries about the poor minister, a man she would despise in any other circumstance. Okay, let's... I don't know what this is about. Let's ask her this. I don't want to seem ungrateful for her help, but having Silk Fox here is causing me some concern. I mean, she is the daughter of the Emperor, and we do not know his role in Master Li's capture. Can she be trusted? Uh, 
Okay, I like this uh, response. This one could be good too, but I'm gonna go with this one. So you don't trust her fully, but you invite her into our midst. I'm not sure I understand that, especially when she is so confrontational. Uh, which one to do? I don't think she's jealous of her. I'm gonna go with this one. Might start the romance with her a little bit. I, I'm not sure. I am not. Why would you suggest that? And why did you smirk? Are you... Are you trying to pit us against each other? Does it amuse you to see people compete for your affection? Your affection. Did I just say that? Well, damn you for being right. Uh... You didn't know uh, which one to choose. Okay, a little spoiler here. Uh, I looked it up the romance because I uh, wasn't really sure how to do them. And apparently you can, uh, well, at the end, get both of them. But, uh, well, uh, not sure how to put this. The game, if you do get both of them, the game sees it as you only got the... Uh, a silk fox, so... Not sure, should I go for both of them? Okay, he's smiling with both of these answers, so... I don't know. I wish I could talk to you guys, get some opinions. Okay... Uh, let's go with this one. You have always been a good friend to me, but I never meant... I, I mean, I couldn't... No. No, I should have more control over this. This is too uncertain. You can't manipulate me into admitting something like this. Not when you can leave whenever you want. Okay. Definitely not this. I think one of these two. I'm gonna go with the first one. I prefer to have more control over myself, and as much control over what goes on around me as possible. Silk Fox, or whatever she wants to be called, is an unknown I can't compensate for. I can't stay in balance if I don't know what she represents. You and I, we talk and share thoughts, but she forces me to consider where that might lead, both good and bad. I'm not ready for that. Okay, I think the first one is still the better one. Uh, don't you dare! Oh, you tease so much, I don't know what to do with you. You've become so different since we left Two Rivers. Or perhaps it is me. For all the trouble we face, I feel like a weight is lifting. I think we will have a great deal more to discuss in the coming days. I'm looking forward to it. Until then, thank you for being so understanding. Master Lee was right. You are special. Okay, not sure what this is, but we're not gonna leave yet anyway. Very well, but we sh Okay, next. Yes? How can this humble bun master assist you today? Uh, why did you marry your wife? 
Like many things in my life, it can be traced back to very bad luck on my part. As I mentioned once before, I was a master of the drunken master style. I was the tournament champion in Phoenix Gate when things spun out of control. My need for wine took its toll on my body. There are long periods I don't even remember. After one such period, I came to, having lost most of my clothes and all my money. I was destitute, and without the ability to buy more wine, I couldn't even fight. Uh, what did you do? Eventually, I found work cleaning out creature cages at the local arena. One day, I was approached by a man who remembered seeing me fight. He offered to sponsor me. Just like that, I was back in the ring. After climbing my way back to the top of the tournament, my sponsor told me it was time to fulfill my end of the bargain. Now, what, uh, what was it you had to do? Apparently, the agreement stipulated that I must marry his niece. If only I had read the agreement more closely, I could still be shoveling dirt in the creature cages. Alas, fate had a crueler path in mind for me. Let that be a lesson for you. Always read the fine print, or you may end up with more than you bargained for. And why did you become a bun master? You're beginning to sound like my wife. Where were you last night? Why were you talking to that woman? Why do you smell like a goat? Always with the question. As I mentioned earlier, after becoming tournament champion for the second time, I was forced to marry my sponsor's nubile niece. She is the reason I no longer fight. My disapproving dove did not care for my drinking, or for my friends, or my fighting, or my friends fighting. She believed I should settle down, be more respectable. And you became a bun master? At first I ignored her rebukes and continued fighting, but I soon learned that she was not a woman to be crossed. Prior to one fight, my duplicitous daisy drugged my wine. I don't remember much of what happened next, which is fortunate. From what I hear, it wasn't very pretty. Ouch. I spent the next several months under the tender ministrations of my doting wife. Needless to say, when I was well enough to walk again, I was more than happy to settle down. As to why I became a bond master, well, it's a hard, thankless job that keeps me very, very busy. Very busy. Uh, tell me more about yourself. Not now. Memories of my wife are difficult to bear, especially when I am here and she could be so far, far, far away. Okay, thanks. As you say, I will be here scrubbing your pots until you call upon me again. We have pots? Always happy to help. What do you need? Uh, what's on your mind? Dawnstar has been telling me about two rivers, the Swamp and Gal the Lesser. I was sorry to hear about your town and your friends. It brought a question to mind. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Why? Seriously, why are you doing this? Details aside, you're fighting the Empire as a whole when you oppose the Lotus Assassin's Death's Hand or the Emperor's Will. I know all about your village and your master, and that explains some of it. What it doesn't explain is your drive, your strength. What gives you that? Uh, people are suffering? Kind of... All of these go... That this one can be good answers. No, well, maybe not this one. Well, let's go with this one. People are suffering. I wonder if fate cast this burden upon you, or if you rose up on your own to shoulder it. History will probably decide. 
I know you're going to follow Silk Fox's plans to find a way into the Assassin's Den. It won't be easy, but I'm confident we'll succeed. It's what happens after you find a way in that has me worried. Uh, why are you concerned? I knew men and women who were drawn to the Lotus Assassins. They went into that place to prove themselves, as you intend to. And the few who made it back out were... different. They acted like they didn't know us, or just didn't care if we lived or died. It's hard to say if there's even a difference to the Lotus Assassins. I know you'll be fine. The Assassins will be lucky if you don't bring the place down around their ears. Just be sure not to tip your hand before you're ready. That's all in the future, though. We should keep it what we're doing. There's a lot left to tackle before we're done. Okay, I guess this guy was easier. Not that much to talk about. Of course. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay, big guy, you're next. What? What do you want? Can you tell me about your past some more? Too much talking and thinking can be dangerous, I should know. I remember one cold winter I took a job clearing rats from a local monastery. I was supposed to make sure the pests stayed out of the sacred pools, but hunting rats one at a time is boring work. So I had an idea, a way to catch them all at once. I convinced the monks to give me some of their sacred wine, and I filled the sacred pools. I figured if I could get the rats drunk, they'd be so much easier to catch. Uh, okay, this should be good. Nothing happened at first, so I helped myself to the wine. I passed out before the rats came. In the middle of the night, I was woken up by screaming monks and fiery explosions. It was just the rats. The poor furry buggers were just trying to get warm near the monks' fires after their swim in the wine. Not a good combination. Uh, what happened to the monastery? The monks wanted me gone. I might have deserved the blame, but the abbot insisted it was a sign from the gods and closed the monastery. See what happens when you think too much? Yes, I'm smiling you know, when I'm saying this. I mean, look at me. Okay, let's say this. Whatever. No, oh, I guess that's it. Uh, Kang, you'll be last. What do you want? Uh, you are right. They don't come out very much. The guardian protects me and keeps the other inside. When the other tries to get out, it feels like my head is going to tear itself apart. Guess I can talk to these guys separately. All right. Must be hard on you. Yes, but the guardian has always been with me, and I trust him. The other one has been there too, but smaller. They won't say why. They say we have to be with you now. <laughs> Uh, why did you choose her? Wildflower is dead. Okay, okay, you walk up, see, see, soon, look. 
Uk ipipir so ir tatasi. Lo ya kuk tiir, ukir ayi uir. Ha! You care too much for this whelp. Ukir uki ir wo kuk tiir sunuk. Uk ipipir so ir tatasi. Okay, I'm not gonna tell her she's dead. Uh, does she have anything else to say? What do you... I wanna talk about the demons within you? I... I... Oh! It's time you and I had a talk, mortal. You've been paying too much attention to this girl's problems and the... Guardian's advice. We need more realism here. Uh, what are you talking about? The girl is already dead. She's a walking corpse. She's nothing to anyone. What I want is the body. I need an anchor, and this little walking meat puppet can provide that. But Chaika gives me trouble. He's in my way. He's weak, but the girl sides with him. To take control, I need your help, and I'm willing to offer servitude for it. Uh, no. Ha! You say that now. But when the time comes, we'll see how much power tempts you. And if you continue to refuse, I still have ways to get my revenge. Okay. Yeah, we can now have uh, the other as our companion. Uh, two more to go. Yeah, I guess that's it. Back to Zoo. I trust your plans go well, despite the dangers you face and inflict. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, what do you... How do you feel about the plan? It is a foolish idea. You do not understand the seductive nature of the assassins, and what they do to recruits. Right, enlighten me. It does not take much to make a person forget who they are. With a little effort, they can be pushed past any morals they might have claimed. Cloaked in service and honor, even the most depraved of barbarity soon becomes unremarkable. I'll find a way. A naive assumption. Perhaps you can avoid direct participation, but their fanaticism will still affect you. The rot that is Death's hand permeates the complex. He was made our leader during the raising of Dirge. He replaced Sun Kin, who along with the glorious strategist, never returned from that campaign. I did not serve Death's hand long, but when the orders came, he never questioned. The connection is more direct than loyalty, and he instills that in his Lotus assassins. That is how so many were driven to kill without cause, and why I decided no more. Okay. First one seems the best. There was more to that event. You are right to sense it. But I have kept my silence for so long that I must carefully consider the repercussions of breaking it. I must inevitably deal with my demons. Your destiny demands it. But I must also know that those demons will be put to rest, not exploited. For many years, I did nothing. If I had known Master Lee was the glorious strategist, so much could have been resolved one way or another. 
In the end, I will have to trust that you are enough his student to find a way to protect what I cannot. Okay, we each have our path. So I'll listen when you're ready. Uh, sounds like the best answer. So you claim. I am not accustomed to words having such weight. We should... We should resume your mission. You have far to go. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. All right, before... Well, it looks like your contact with the Lotus Assassins will be bad for your reputation, but good for our... You spoke with both of their agents, I believe. I like that you explore all the options before making up your mind. The Executioner wants to see you... Ex and the Inquisitor has a task for you as well, appeasing one or the other. Okay, didn't we go for this? What happened? Hey, okay, seriously, what happened? Why am I going for this again? Okay, let's... Let's go with this, I guess. I'm not sure we have the time. Alright. Bye. I will... Okay, that was strange. So, what I wanted to say is, before I talk to Kang... Wanna look... Uh, where are they? Uh, let's see... How many do I have? Configuration... One, two, three, four... And... According to the list I have here, there are eight, so I need four more. Alright, I'm not gonna go to the machine yet. Oh wait. No filter, no. Alright, Kang, you have anything for me? Yes, yes, what can I do for you? Busy, busy, no time for chatty chatty. Okay, let's talk about Lord Love's Furnace. Yes, yes, I am eager to return there. It is a masterful array of artful mechanics, despite being a bit overly polished. This Lord Lau, he could use a bit of restraint. Okay, have you f identified any more configurations? No, I have not had any new insights. The best option I can suggest is just to keep your eyes open. There has to be reference to them somewhere. There were a few simple symbols on one of the larger furnace gears. I made a note of what it might translate to. Here, have a look. Okay, that's it. Goodbye. Yes, yes, good. Uh, transcribe gear edge. Okay. Guessing it's here. Just that one of the machine races are just somewhere in the place of all dead, so the necropolis. I think he's gonna give me more of these, I'm not sure. Yes. Alright, let's see. Yes, yes. Let's ask him again. No. I have I don't know. Um, maybe have a look at this note. I copied some scrawled words from a post near the furnace controls. Right, another uh, carving, I guess. Let's see what this one says. Garden of Okay, so I think we got this one already. Yeah. Do you have any more? Yeah. No. Yeah, I don't have any other clues to give at the moment. Maybe my head will clear up a bit later. Ho hopefully, my designs are safer when my head is clear. Yeah. Okay, so about that head of his getting clearer. I don't remember exactly how. He's supposed to have more mission for us. Maybe I have to use the furnace? I'm not sure. Alright, I'm gonna run around a little bit. Go outside, come back in, see if anything else triggers. 
And if not, well, I'll end it. Okay, guys, so I ran around a little bit, came back, nothing. Uh, entered the arena so the place would load, came back, and nothing. So I guess that's it for uh, conversations and I don't know, mini cin cinematics, whatever you want to put it. So I guess I'll end this one here next time. I want to talk to this guy because I think he has flyer missions and maybe depending on how many there are and how fast I finish them, maybe I'll do the configurations I have, see if anything unlocks with Kang. And I don't know, after that there's still the necropolis to visit before we start the main quests with the inquisitors and the executioner. But for now, thank you for watching, like, comment and subscribe if you enjoy what I do, maybe share this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay safe and have a nice day.